And <laughs> finally, new rule, we can give up teaching geography, <laughs> grammar, and math. Those are pretty hard. But Americans have got to learn how to take a joke. <laughs> a few months ago, we introduced a segment called Explaining Jokes to Idiots. <laughs> and I'd like to bring it back tonight for the benefit of the Spike TV network, which last night aired its Guy's Choice Awards and censored a joke delivered by Clint Eastwood. But we were able to obtain the footage of the joke that was too intense for America to hear. Watch your monitors. Dwayne The Rock Johnson isn't the first athlete who's gone into acting. There's also Jim Brown and Caitlin somebody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we didn't get the footage, but that is exactly the line that they cut. Why? Is Caitlin the new C word? We can't even say it in a joke? And this was on a male network that thinks of itself as macho. But you know, guys, just because you have balls doesn't mean you have balls. So, you know, what is so worrisome about this new brand of censorship is it doesn't care if something is actually offensive. That joke was not an insult. Not in any way was it a remark that demeans Caitlin's journey or would make her Adam's apple grow back. <laughs> It's just certain words that set people off. This is what Jerry Seinfeld was complaining about last week when he said college audiences just want to use these words. That's racist. That's sexist. That's prejudiced. They don't even know what they're talking about. An opinion echoed by Chris Rock, who said he stopped playing colleges because of their unwillingness to offend anybody. And Larry the Cable Guy concurs. He said, it really is a shame that nobody can handle comedy anymore. You know, when Chris Rock, Jerry Seinfeld, and Larry the Cable Guy <laughs> say you have a stick up your ass, <laughs> you don't have to wait for the x-rays to come back. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, a black, a Jew, and a redneck walk onto a college campus, <laughs> and they all can't wait to leave. <laughs> One undergrad from San Diego actually wrote Jerry an open letter on the Huffington Post to help him, Jerry Seinfeld, better understand how comedy works. <laughs> now, <clears throat> I sure wouldn't want to be judged by what I wrote at 20, but stupid though I was in 1976, <laughs> I wouldn't have presumed to lecture George Carlin on comedy, though I... <clears throat> though I, <clears throat> I sure wish George was around today to write a letter back to this kid, <laughs> as only he could. But since he can't, allow me. <laughs> Dear you little shit. <laughs> I'm sure you're busy with your new letter explaining astrophysics to Stephen Hawking. <laughs> and giving jump shot pointers to Steph Curry, but try to get a clue. In the same letter, this kid cited Amy Schumer as a comic who's edgy, but without indulging in harmful stereotypes. Okay, but what about her line, I used to date Hispanic guys, but now I prefer consensual. <laughs> Now, I love that joke, because no matter what Trump says, I don't think of Latino men as rapists. It's just funny, because it's exaggerating the fact that Latinos, like almost all men except white guys, <laughs> are more aggressive when they hit on women. Which, lots of... <laughs> which, which lots of chicks like. So pre-fuck you on that one. <laughs> See, the PC police aren't saying you can't make jokes. You just can't make them about a protected species. Jokes about men, yes. Gay men, no. Kim, Car Kim Kardashian's ass, yes. Her stepfather's tits, no. <laughs> if someone on the internet expresses the wrong views about gays, women, or Jews, they're subject to endless shaming, unless they're Muslim, in which case all that intolerance is a cultural difference which we just have to tolerate. <laughs>
Because of course, it's a religion of peace. There's a piece of you there, there's a piece of you there. <laughs> and now let me explain why that joke is perfectly okay. <laughs> because everyone gets made fun of for something and it's never 100% fair. If I make a, and the French surrendered joke, everyone laughs. Even though the French haven't surrendered in every war. In fact, mostly in just the one, but it was kind of an important one, so they have to own it. If I make a supermodel throw up her food joke, everyone laughs, and certainly not all supermodels are bulimics, but more than plumbers. <laughs> if I make a joke about how all Asians are bad drivers, well, that one's true. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not, but a little bit, so we laugh, as we should when someone makes a Muslims blow shit up joke, which they have to own because they do it more than anybody else, with the possible exception of the U.S. military. <laughs>